Well, they say even a cat may look upon a king. What do you think of the coronation? Yeah, you're right. How can somebody who committed adultery and cheated on his wife for such an extensive time, extensive time, actually be the head of any church that has any moral code that says in the Ten Commandments you should not covet the wife of your neighbor or something like that. And the other plus cheating on anybody is disgusting. And especially a young girl that you sort of led to believe she will have everything and then she had nothing. She wanted to have a husband and a family and he took that away from her and now you're king and the woman who cooperated with you and cheated on your wife, on your late wife, Diana, she's now going to be the queen. That's a little bit absurd for me. And the other thing that's very much absurd for me is they have so much money and then they have charity work. Why don't they just not take money from the British taxpayers and then they wouldn't need to do charity work because the money would go to the people who need the money to go to. Just give up their lavish homes. Why Why do they have to have so much property and money and jewelry? I don't get that. And then they do charity work. That's contradiction number two. And contradiction number three um, is the fact, I don't know if you know, but the oil, they use oil, like they, they make it look like a coronation of a king, a biblical king. And you know, the kings in ancient times, it was supposed to be uh, God from God, like God had appointed them. It's like divine calling, so to speak, so people would be afraid to act against them. So they actually have oil, olive oil produced in Jerusalem. And I wondered, I really did wonder, after what they did in the Middle East, um, they wouldn't let Jews in. They let the Arab... Um, Nazi cooperating Mufti have so much power over Jerusalem and they completely um, completely stopped almost completely stopped the uh, immigration of Jews who, is, who were trying to escape Nazi Nazi occupied Europe so and then when the Jews were fighting here in the underground they would uh, hang them they actually would hang Jews and they would kill Jews for trying to establish um, a Jewish homeland in this tiny piece of land. And then they divided the land and they made Jordan, who should have been Palestine. Um, they took this king and puppet king and they created the state of Jordan, a vast land that could have been easily the Arab state that was, according to the UN Declaration, 1948 was supposed to be, there was supposed to be two two states, a Jewish state and an Arab state. Let's not forget there are 22 Arab states and not doing very well in the Middle East. So they declared, okay, they declared an Arab state, but it could have been easily Jordan had they not given the land to this king of Jordan and created this, um, this sort of fake monarchy. So they did a lot of damages. They did a lot more damages. Okay, there's the Balfour Declaration. The British did support a Jewish homeland in some ways, but they mostly um, made it impossible for Jews to escape Nazi Germany, even though there were a lot of Jews fighting in the British army against the Nazis. They made it impossible for Jews to escape Nazi Europe and come to the land of Israel because the Arabs would riot and they were afraid of the Arab riots. So that's the story there. Even though Jews helped Britain take over the Holy Land because they were supporting their fight against the Ottoman Empire. And there were actually so many killed trying to help England and receive the mandate in the land of Israel. So... I'm not going to watch the coronation because it just makes so, no sense to me, the whole idea of monarchy, that people are just born into a privileged status. And let's not forget that the origin of the British monarchy is actually Germanic. They're Germans. 
And had it not been for one American divorced woman, um, whom David, um, the uncle of Queen Elizabeth II, fell in love with, and he didn't pr receive permission to marry and continue to be king at the same time, uh, had it not been for this divorced woman, Wallace Simpson, um, you know, it looked like England would have been a Nazi, a, a part of Nazi Germany, because he wanted, there was a plot. Um, this is not something I'm making up. It's not a conspiracy theory. There was, a, They were plotting to uh, establish um, a Nazi Britain, a Nazi-like regime in Britain. And luckily, the Wallace Simpson distracted him from that, and he couldn't be king and marry her, so he preferred to marry her. But they were planning to take over England, and thank God they didn't. We can thank Prince Philip for that, who fought the Nazis, and Queen Elizabeth as well. But don't forget that the origins of the British monarchy are Germanic. They are Germans. They're not really Britain, British people. And when you think about it, what are British people anyway? Aren't they like a mixed mutt of different nations, European nations? So what's the idea anyway of taking over countries? And how many countries did they colonize, my God? How many countries did they colonize and bring violence to? Steal their treasures and um, slaughter their people? I mean, when you think about it, they were really a, quite a violent regime and look at Ireland still no peace there like just to take part of Ireland and claim it as their own it's just amazingly wrong so for all those reasons yes Sam you can come yeah the cat is meowing he doesn't want to be around this one so we didn't watch the coronation and we didn't call you Charlie either we called you Heimke uh, Ganesha so, why would anybody watch the coronation? Um, and I wanted to say the oil that they anointed King Charles with came from Jerusalem, but what did he do? He's never... Did he come to Jerusalem? Ah, no, he did. But, like, don't do us any favor, you know? Because um, you definitely didn't do anything for the Middle East. Um, yeah, if you were a nice guy, your wife wouldn't have had to run around with... Um, all kinds of men, desperate for love, because you took a, you t you took a nineteen year old, and you just promised her a home and a family, and she trusted you. And what did you do? You took Camellia and you just had an affair with her, and you neglected your wife and your family, which is why everything is so screwed up today. And I don't think Camellia. Camilla should be queen. I don't think that woman, any woman who cheats in a marriage, who, I think marriage should be something sacred. And if marriage is not sacred, then what the hell are you doing as the head of the head of the Church of England? So even a cat may look upon the king, but the king may not look upon this cat because this cat is, is amazing.